In the lower portion are different operations performed by glass enclosed precision machines and giant multiple drill presses. As beautiful as the masterpieces of the ancient art of pre-Columbian America, today rendered dynamic and productive by the creative genius of American engineers and by the stupendous creative effort of the workers from all races of the earth who make up the industrial population of Detroit. I always thought of Rivera as a Giotto-esque flat wall painter and this concept came as a shock and when I found it functioned, going through the factories and finding the back and forth motion of the machinery, the work of the individuals with their arms and hands. By recreating the in and out perspective here, he was actually able visually to bring a form of life to a static painting which was so like the movement in the factories, I was astounded and suddenly realized there are no rules in that. The visual qualities began to orchestrate and uh, there's no way you can describe it except by looking at the mural. Eight months of painting, and I am pleased. For me, these images are realistic and abstract, plastic, dynamic, and everlasting. The whole fresco gives one the feeling of growth, of the birth of a new culture, a new race that this age of steel is creating here in America. The, the political leaders of the country uh, said that the depression was uh, over and that uh, prosperity was around the corner and uh, the papers uh, uh, were forced to show people selling apples, bread lines in Dearborn, not very far from the Rouge plant. Uh, Rivera uh, went into the Fort plant, but in order to get to the Fort plant to make his original sketches, he, he, uh, he saw the soup lines in Dearborn. In fact, there were soup lines all over this area so that uh, When he painted the faces, and when he tried to capture the expressions of the men inside of the plant, you could almost see that what he was really saying is these people are working inside of the plant with the fear that tomorrow they may be outside in that soup line. And uh, there's no doubt about it, he, he, uh, he captured some of the worries uh, and showed them on, on the faces of the, of the people that he painted. 